Well, hey everybody, Carl Wachner here. We're gonna do some challenges. This is for live looping artists on any level. Yeah. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> All right, so I've got my loop station at my feet. You can use whatever you have, whether it's a tiny little ditto to a boss pedal to a 300 to a desktop one, whatever you use will totally work for this challenge. Challenge number one is setting up a really quick loop percussion loop and then just leaving the record button on for as long as you possibly can. Guitar over guitar over vocal over vocal and just keep on layering layering. The trick is I'm not going to use any effects on this except for my octave pedal. So that's just so I can lay down a bass line but apart from that I'm just going to use my beatbox and my mouth over here and I'm just going to use the standard acoustic guitar signal that I have from this guitar. So let's dive straight into it. I want to see what you guys can do, but let's uh, let's lay down. I'm just going to pick two chords. I'm going to do uh, A minor and D, and I'm going to just sort of lay down that, and then I'm just going to clap and make a bunch of noise and, um, and see what we can do. So challenge number one, should you choose to accept it, make sure you tag me uh, CW loop challenge one. <laughs> Whatever, let's do that. And so uh, feel free to take it on. You might only get five layers, you might get 25 layers, but let's see. Just on the first track, here we go. All right, cool. So I've got my first layer down. First layer is ready. Now from here on out, I'm just gonna hit record and leave it on. I'm gonna stop this for a sec just to tell you. I'm just gonna keep on layering, 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 and we're gonna see how big we can make it without it getting chaotic. Because obviously when we get up to 20 loops or 30 loops or 40 loops, overdubs I'm talking about, gonna experience a little chaos, we're gonna to get too many things, and it's gonna to start to sound really shaky. And the point of this challenge is to see how many layers you can put onto it without it getting shaky yet. We're all gonna run into a number for you know, the best of us, it might be 40 tracks, 40 overdubs before it starts to even remotely sound bad. Some of us, we might be a little out of time with our rhythm and it'd only be, you know, two or three. All right, let's go. I'm gonna hit record and leave it on. So I'm up to 14 so far. We keep on going here. All right, I'm gonna stop it there. <laughs> I got up to 31. It says so on my little uh, 
I'm a little track counter. So 31, I think if I add anything, I don't really think I can add anything more to that. If I add anything more to that, it's just going to get, it's just going to be chaotic. It's going to be layering too much. So I made it to 31. See what you guys can make it to. If you don't make it to anything more than, let's say, 10, that's something you can work on, you know. And, uh, and I will say this isn't something that you should really bring to a live show. You, nobody needs 31 tracks, especially not for the sake of doing it. But this is just a good uh, challenge that I wish to uh, throw out to the world to you guys. What it is going to do when you can get up into the higher levels and the higher, uh, higher numbers is it's going to tighten up your rhythm and, and, and give you some ideas of sonically what you can add with your guitar and what you can add if you have a vocal mic on there. So let's hear that again and, uh, and I'll just play out to it. <laughs> Do a little solo. Here. 